go up this way first, and then actually, there's more to see on the, on the bottom side of it, but we'll go up and see the top part first. I haven't been up here before. I saw my drone on through here though. I'm bothering him. So leave him alone. <laughs> we that uh, on Sunday there we were to we called a double breasted shell shell knot or something like that. It's like a tenant. And then there was one sitting on a dead tree like that. And uh, she got right up to it. Well I, I kind of played with the idea of us going down the big creek. Um, but, but I had a look at some videos of people actually going down Big Creek. Yeah. And I think first off, it probably would be good for us to put in and then just come down the river, yeah. um, come back down to Long Point. But there's plenty of places there where that creek is actually covered by trees and logs. And in the one situation, you couldn't pass it. You literally had to climb over top of these logs with your kayak. And then, and some, some situations you're having to duck down to get through. That was, an inter that was an interesting experience, that's for sure, right? I like Dunville. I mean, I'm, it's uh, to get to get down to the lower part. Oh, beer might be a suitable place. Any water flowing through this. 
into the line. I was kind of hoping that we could get up and around because there's, there's some marshes up on the top side of the conservation area up here. If you look at the blue uh, maps, so I figured there's got to be some way to get up through, but I guess because of the difference in the water levels, we're down below the river, so I guess we can't. So. so they subbed her in, 12 minutes into the game. She wasn't on the field, actually, the goalkeeper, because they subbed her on a goal, on a goal kick. The goalie took the kick, the ball came out, and she put it back in the net. She wasn't on the field. She wasn't on the field for, for, for more than 10 seconds. She scored. And then in the second half, 12 minutes, at, 12 minutes uh, into the second half, he puts her on again. And then for whatever reason, and we don't know the reason, she never got an answer. He pulls her out two minutes later. Yeah. And then four minutes after that, she gets put back in again. So just came back from the field. And that one was a 40 yard free kick. Yeah, so. Female or male? Male. Irish guy. Sunday? The other one worked out better on Sunday?
talking to him. Text me for two hours. Let me tell you. That's just let him know. That's not bad news. The name of their boat, Social Distancing. I guess he just bought it. Is that? You know what, I, I, I think we're gonna have it running across us most of the time. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get back. Just take your time. see his kids, I don't see him anymore, I still see his ex-wife. What's his, what was his last name? Marlo. Yeah, Marlo. Yeah. Because he was always like the, you, him and Mark were always like joined at the hip there when I first met you. Well, the, he got, Pete and I have known each other since I was 10 years old. Oh really? You guys, so you guys were... We went back a long way, yeah. Um, The river is down here, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could. Have you ever? Have you ever been up to uh, Luther Marsh? Well, Luther Marsh is the top of uh, the Grand River. It's where the water starts. No, it's up here. Like, well, it's actually just uh, up above Orangeville. That's it's, if you know where Grand Valley is. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. Yeah. It doesn't start at a lake. Well, there, actually, it, it's a small stream that makes it look at the dam. The Blue Marsh. There's a big dam there. Um, that's not the dam as well. I went up there in the fall last year. And where are we here? Well, that's the part you've got to be careful. out there in the middle of the lake and I was, you know, a mile offshore on one of the islands and all of a sudden, bang, hear the shotgun go off and I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm glad I'm the side of the lake.
same thing. Hmm? Did you want? That's fine, right? Come here, man. At least you know you can get back. Yeah? It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We gotta, we gotta, get, we gotta game more against the Lions FC. Left or right? Road to nowhere. I mean, looking obviously at the at Google Maps, trying to go find things to go look at. Well, we'll just keep on tucking in and out of these things, rather than going, you know, a huge distance down the river because we got to make it back up, right? So. Well, tomorrow it's supposed to rain.
keep on heading down here, keep on poking around, poking around in these branches. Hey? These guys aren't hunting down here, are they? When's duck season, do you know? When does duck season start? So when does duck season start? I'm not a hunter, I don't know either. Now these are geese. Back in the middle of hunting season, are we? Are we, are we are in jeopardy here? You think we should head back? I never really thought of it. To be honest with you. Well, at least we're nice and bright. What is it with me and kayaking? I, I, I have been in this situation before, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was kayaking actually funny because I was I, I I I just put the kayak in and I was paddling down this little pond and this guy pops up from the reeds like this. He says, "You really shouldn't be here." I said, "Why?" He said, "Because like we're hunting." I said, "Well, I'm not bothered. We're hunting. Cool. Hey, don't worry." So then I so then I actually put the thing back on my car and I went up further up into the marsh, up into the marsh. And the guy pops up on the other side of the marsh. Same guy. Same guy. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say let's cut through there, but I think that's not a good idea. That was my original plan. There's a couple of channels in here and I was going to go in and explore them. But uh, I'm thinking that you don't want to be on that side. Kayaking at Bing Island during geese season, I guess. <laughs> yeah, put that on the way to explore it. I mean, uh, the nice part about being down this part of the ground is you don't have to worry about running into rocks. No.
Are you allowed to hunt Canada geese? Oh yeah. Yeah, they're in a beast. Yeah, well, it looks like there's a whole bunch of decoys up here, too. So how was Mark? Is it back then? They've kind of taken all of the, the desire to go and explore in the channels. Out of it. Well, the trick is, where's the guys? Well, I think that's what he was trying to say in that current accent that his decoys are up here. Yeah. I'm thinking. Because my original plan was to come down here in May. May 2-4 weekend? Because the birds are still migrating? I'm thinking it's probably a lot safer to go through these wetlands yeah. in May than it would be in September. Because I'm, they wouldn't be able to hunt in May, right? Because no. they're all still nesting? Funny. Yeah, I'm a little nervous going over there now with all those decoys. Well, it's September. Well, we can't see them, but they can see us. You must be in a blind over here. That's what I was looking at earlier. It's like um, an egret. That's what it is. It's an egret. 
So those fly all the way down to Florida in the wintertime. Yeah. And in the springtime, you can see them in the Hesper Marsh. So in May, the Hesper Marsh is full of those. Yeah, we, actually that's what they look like when they're in the marsh as well from the distance. You can always mistake them. Yeah, I love I can just imagine what Patty was saying right now if I brought her down here. Which is what we were originally doing in May. The three of us were coming down here. Yeah. But if you got these guys hiding in their hunting blinds. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd never hear the end of it. No. Nope. Nope. Guys are over the blind over to the right of us here, so we're going to get through this section. <laughs> and then we found out there's guys hunting, so. <laughs> well, we didn't know when we went in there. Who would have thought? Luther Marsh is a lot like this. Yeah. Only shallow. No, no, it's, it's, it's I mean, I wouldn't take a, a big boat in there because uh, uh, there's stumps in the bottom of it because it's, it's a, uh, uh, yeah, there's nowhere in there you're going to get in trouble. Um, it's about an hour and 15 minutes. So, yeah, that would be a good hike for you, I think. Do you think it's safe for us to run over that and see what the real side over there where those boats are? Or do you want to get back? I, I don't want to I'm just going to go. I kind of want to go over as well. I'm probably going to make it. Let's have a couple of people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cross over the other side of the river. I'll go back to the river. Okay?
Oh, that'll be coming next. You watch. Well, they got to pay this debt off somehow. Somebody's got to pay it off. You must be getting in better shape now that you've been kayaking a few times. Now, do you, do, you, do you normally check a cart when you play golf? Yeah. See, I not that I play, but I I always carry my bag. I always walk and carry my bag. I actually find when I when I play golf and take a cart, I don't play as well. Trying to get to that last little bit on Port Maitland because the waves because the waves were like two two three foot swells there. Yeah, and I did like uh, I kind of got a sick feeling when I looked out into the, the waves there. I, yeah, once I got down there and I you know got out of the car, I said, ah, you know what? Different day, different people, different kayak. Yeah, for sure. But probably not the best place. To, uh, set for a destination for you and me. Man, that, that's uh, 11 years old, that van. The air conditioning doesn't work. You can smell something burning a little bit. So, that's, no, I gotta get another year out of it. At least. No, it doesn't. Well, we haven't owned it for 11 years. We've owned it for five, but. Probably even more than The GS 1100 Suzuki. And that was more. That's more of a racing touring style. Now, I had the E version, so it was a shaft drive. It was a touring bike. Although you obviously could get it in, in a sport version as well. Yeah. Um, and I had a Kawasaki uh, Concourse, which was a thousand cc 
Ninja engine, that was very quick as well. So yeah, I've had I've had three or four uh, big bikes. I had a BMW too, 1100 BMW once. Now I'm into a smaller, lighter bike so I can ride it off-road. Yeah, that, uh, that bike is the, the fact that you can go and do all that and then still still be a cruiser. That's nice. Yeah, I can still help you know, head down the highway if I want to. Yeah, I just uh, I didn't want a bike because then my son will get <laughs> yeah, you know, both of my boys like motorcycles. They both wanted to get one when they were younger. Thank goodness neither of them did. They did get one? No, they didn't. No, they both didn't. Thank you. 